Okay, we're back, and we're going to go over another example. Okay, um, all we're going to do is use the same um, planes, same corners, find the same volume, but we're going to change the order. We're going to find the volume where we first perform dx, x dx, then z dz, then y dz. Before we did dz, z dz, then y dz, then we did x dz. Okay, so we're changing the order completely. Okay, so let's see if we can get the same answer. Okay, once again, we're going to do the inner first, which is dx. And now we have x is a function of what? Wow. Y and Z. Remember, the one on the inside is going to be the function of all the other ones. Okay? And then we have Z as a function of Y. Okay, for the second. And then we have just Y as a function of itself. Okay. Now, what is our boundaries? Okay, we said our boundaries earlier was what? X1 equals what? Zero. Okay. And then we find out that what? Um, x2 is a function of x and of z and y as we know here and as we move here we see that it's what we're going to take the lower plane and we're going to solve for x and if we solve for x what do we get We get 2 minus y divided by 2. Okay, 2 over 2 is 1, so it's 1 minus 1 half y. Okay, so you see how we find this limit on, in reference to x as it relates to x, x as it relates to y. Okay, now let's see how we can do this z, this upper limit. Okay, we know that z is, starts off at 0, and now z is going to go, z2 is going to go where? Up here. So what are we going to do? We're going to use this equation, z equals what? 1 plus y. So that will be its upper limit, z2. Because we can't substitute z for anything. We can't plug in an x. There's nothing we can do with that. Okay, so for y, <coughs> y starts off at 0, like all the rest of them, and y goes to what? 2. Okay, let's plug these into these equations now. We're doing the what? The dx first. The dx has its limits at 0, and it goes to what? 1 minus 1 half y. Okay, that's the first one. And the z... It's going from 0 to what? 1 plus y. And y is going from 0 to 2. Excellent. Okay, so when we plug this in with dx, we're just going to get an x. And 0 goes to 0, the lower limit. And the upper limit is just going to be left 1 minus 1 half y. Okay, now this is here in, in terms of dz. And so dz is going to be what? Yes, z. Okay, so to be a z, and the upper limit is what? 1 plus y. 1 plus y, and the lower limit goes to what? 0. So we're just multiplying this constant times 1 plus y. Okay, so we need to simplify this. So if we multiply these together, we get 1 plus y minus one-half y, minus one-half y squared, d y. And we're going to go to another page so we can um, pick up from where we left off. Okay, so this is where we left off. And so now we're going to combine terms. And all we're going to get is one plus one-half y 
equal, I mean minus one half y squared. And we're going from zero to two for dy. Okay, so one will give us a y for the integration. Um, one half, this is going to give a y is going to give us a y squared, and that's going to be one half, so that's one fourth. And this negative is going to still come out, and this is going to be taken to the third power and divided by one third. So that'll give us one sixth of x cubed. Okay, and we're going to take this from the um, from zero to one. So zero should just drop out. And all we're going to do is plug in what? 2 for y. We're going to plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 over 4 is 1. Okay? Same thing with this. 2 times 2 times 2 is what? 8 minus 8. The other part goes to 0. And so we can combine what? 3 minus 4 over 3. Have to find what? Common denominator. Common denominator is 3, so we multiply 3 over 3. Getting the 4 minus the 4 thirds. So then we have 9 over 3 minus 4 over 3. And what, guess what? Oh, yes, there we go. Volume is equal to what? 5 thirds. Okay, this is the same answer we just got for the last one. So this is perfect. So now that you've been able to change the order, you're able to understand how to find boundaries and limits. So now we're going to give you some practice problems to do because I've been doing them. Okay, so let's see what we got. Find the volume between the planes. Z equals 2x plus 3y plus 6. And Z equals 2x plus 7y plus 8 over the unit square and, and so here is just our unit square. What is a unit square? This goes, it starts at 0, 0, goes to 1, x is 1 and 0, and what is um, y is 1, 1, and 0, 1. So it's letting you know it's just over this area, okay? So we see the two planes, and now the question is, you can solve this one. So now, what else? Can we give you another one? Let me give you another one. Okay, find the volume, the plane, for 2x plus 3y plus 6, and z equals 2x plus 7y plus 8 over the triangle. Okay, not over the unit square this time, over the what? Triangle. Defined by the limit, 0, 0, where we've always been expecting, 3, 0, and 2, 1. Okay, so have fun, and we'll see you in class. Okay, I hope you've learned a lot, and um, study hard for the, um, exam 3. And we'll cover some of this in class after the exam is over. Enjoy your day, and we hope to have a good time.